Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I want to welcome you to video number five of the Tree of Life Afghan. Okay, you should have completed through 155 of the tree pattern plus four more rows. Okay, that's where we left off at the end of the last video. Now for this next video, we're going to be working the divider rows. The divider rows uses a stitch that you may know as the reverse single crochet. Um, I learned it as the neural stitch and some people use the name the crab stitch for this um, particular uh, this particular stitch. Now when we work this stitch across, let me be real clear about some things. We are only going to work this in the front loop for the first part and then the second part we're only going to work in the remaining back loop and I'll show you that as we go. Uh, we are going to be working from left to right if you are a right-hander and that would be from right to left if you're a lefty. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The biggest thing about this stitch is to not let it get into your head too much if you're a seasoned crocheter. Um, this is the one stitch that some people tend to have more trouble with, but let's go ahead and give it a shot nonetheless. Okay, we're going to chain one and then we're going to work only in the front loop and this first stitch is going to be a little tricky. If you just put your hook up in there in only the front loop, pull through, yarn over, and there you go. Let's do that again, the next loop. Stick your hook through the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. The biggest thing about this is to not let it get into your head. Don't let it, um, don't let it become more difficult than it really is. Um, and above all, don't try to control where these strands are falling. Just let them fall as they may, and I think you'll find that they actually come out more even. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a slower stitch going across, but that is okay. I'm going to pause here for a second and just show you. It can be quite, quite a lovely stitch. So go ahead and work this all the way across the row. I do want to show you the last stitch of this row. Now according to the pattern it would say to use a reverse single crochet. I'm going to change that a little bit. I like to reuse a reverse slip stitch and the way you do that is put your hook in that last loop and then pull it through both loops without wrapping them. That way you don't have extra material or an extra stitch kind of bulging at the end and it just kind of looks more even as you can see. After that we're going to chain one now we're going to be working in the back loops only and these are the loops right here. Now if you have a hard time seeing where to look, let me show you what to do. Because with the back side facing, um, you don't need to turn to work this row at all. But these are the loops. If you just locate where the back of that single crochet is, you should be able to see that extra loop right there. Okay, so go back. Again, all these rows are worked with the front side facing and you will not need to turn at the end of any of these six rows. Okay, so we're just going to work single crochets in each loop all the way across the row. Okay, and so this texture should be standing up quite nicely like this. Let me work a few more stitches for you so that you can see it better. Okay, now let's take a look at that stitch. Okay, so go ahead and work those single, single crochets all across the row. And then when you finish working all the way across, then you're going to work row one and row two, two more times of the divider. So when you finish this section, you should have six rows, one, two, and then, you know, you should have well, six rows, so you should be able to count three. You should have three of the neural stitches that are standing up, and then three of the rows that are worked going the other direction in that extra loop. Okay, so go ahead and work the next uh, five rows. After completing rows one through six of the divider rows, this is what the section should look like. Okay, now let's go back to the pattern. Now looking back at the Afghan pattern, we have just completed the divider rows one through six. Now under the section where it says flower panel, it says the next five rows. And the next five rows are simply chain one, turn, 
um, single crochet in each stitch of cross. Okay, then following that we will get to the rows 1 through 31 or the flower patterns, but right now we're just going to work five rows of single crochet across. We begin these five rows by turning. We're going to chain one and just single crochet in each stitch all the way across. I want you to work five rows. Okay, after crocheting those five rows of single crochet, this is what it should look like. And with the front side facing, we are now ready to start the flower pattern. And let's go ahead and look at the written pattern and then I will show you the graph. Okay, for row one, this is with the right side facing. We're gonna chain one, turn, single crochet in the first four single crochet. Then here's an asterisk, which means that this is what's gonna be repeated. The information is inside the two asterisks. This is what we're going to repeat across the row. We're going to chain 10, then in the next single crochet, we're going to single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, and single crochet. And that may be a little confusing, but I'll show you what that looks like when we get to that. That's all going to be in one single crochet. You're making the base for a flower. And then we're going to single crochet the next nine single crochet. And then we're going to repeat from the asterisk all the way across the row. Okay. And here's a note, when working row two, keep chain 10 spaces of previous row on the right side of the work. Do not let these chains fall to the wrong side because these are the decorative part that we're going to be anchoring in the rows to follow, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. Now let's take a look at the diagram here. We are gonna start with row one, again, the red, with the front side facing, the black will be with the back side facing. We have a chain one, we have four single crochets here, and then when we get to this point here is where we do the single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, and single crochet, chain 10, and then we have nine single crochets, and then again the single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, all in one spot here, and then nine single crochets. We're going to work that all the way across the row. Okay, let's go ahead and try row number one of the flowers. Now as we begin row one of the flowers pattern, we chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. Okay, now we're going to begin the base for the flowers. We're going to chain ten. Okay, after that we are going to single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that two more times. There's ten single crochets and then we we'll single crochet in that same place again and then one more time. And then single crochet a third time into that place. So you should have something like this. And we're going to keep all of these on this side as we work the rows that follow. Okay. Now we're going to work single crochet in the next nine stitches. After those nine stitches we're going to make another flower cluster. Begin with ten chains. and a single crochet in the next stitch, and then another 10. And another single crochet, and 10 more. And then a single crochet again in that same stitch. And then we continue on with single crochet in the next nine stitches. And that's how this row will end by working nine single crochets in the last nine stitches. So go ahead and work this across the row. Okay, I finished all the way across and the numbers did work out, but I must tell you about a mistake that I began making early on in this row because some of you may be prone to do exactly what I did. Um, okay, so we work the nine single crochets 
and then we work our 10 chains. Make sure that when you anchor this of the next three single crochets that you anchor it in the next stitch over, okay? If you put that stitch in the stitch here, which is one of the nine single crochets, your stitch count's gonna be way off. So make sure you do your nine single crochets, then when you do your chain, that first chain, move over to the next unused single crochet and then work the other two single crochets in there so that you should have only three single crochets in that one single crochet, okay? If you have four single crochets instead of three, then your stitch count's gonna be off and you're gonna probably, you really need to go ahead and redo that section. I actually had to pull out about half a row of stitches um, before I realized what I was doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at row number two. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read through some of the, the written language of row number two because when you read the stitch diagram, it's not altogether totally clear or it, it's really, uh, in my opinion, kind of hard to read some of these stitch guides when you have overlapping information. So let's go ahead and read through. It says chain one, turn, single crochet in first nine single crochets chain one. We're going to skip the next three single crochets in 10 chain spaces. That's all that was formed in that one stitch. So we're not skipping three stitches. We're skipping just one um, stitch from two rows below, but from the previous row, there were three single crochet and, and the, the collection of chain 10 spaces. Okay. So chain one, and we're going to skip that cluster there and then single crochet in the next nine single crochet chain one, skip the next three single crochets and chain one, that cluster area that, that's the base of the flower. And we're going to repeat that all the way across to the last four single crochet and then single crochet in last four single crochet. I'm, I'm hoping that taking the time to read this is helping some of you who don't read patterns. I know some of you are expert crocheters and this is really boring for you and I apologize. But for those who are learning to read um, this is really, really foundational, and I hope this serves you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the diagram real quick. Now for a quick glance at row two, reading it from left to right, and this is with the back side facing, chain one, and these are nine single crochets. And behind this, it's a chain one, and make sure that these chains are pushed towards the front side. Okay, you shouldn't have them facing you. They should be facing away from you behind these stitches that you're working. Okay, so you chain one and you skip this cluster area and then single crochet in the next nine stitches all the way across. And then when you get to the end, we're going to chain one and single crochet in the last four stitches. Let's go ahead and work row number two of the flowers. To begin row two, we chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first nine stitches. After completing those nine stitches, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip these next three stitches, the clusters and the chains, and make sure that they are pushed that direction. And the next stitch we're going to take, we're going to work in, is the one that actually started the chains going the other direction. So we will work that one. Make sure these chains are all on the other side. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one again. Again, we're going to skip one, two, three, these clusters. And then the next one we start working on is the one where the first that's connected to the very first chain right here. Okay. So go ahead and work that all the way across row two. I wanted to show you the end of this row just to show you another uh, problem to avoid. I noticed as I was going across that I was forgetting to make the chain one as I skipped the flower cluster here. So I just wanted to remind you of that to make sure that you don't forget to do that chain one before you begin crocheting the next series of single crochets. And as I just want to show you the end here is just four single crochets ending row two. Okay. On the other side, let me give you just a quick glance as to what it should look like. It's kind of a mess right now, but we're going to straighten that all out very shortly. Okay. Let's go ahead on to row 
number three of the flowers. Okay, let's take a look at row three. Again, I'm taking time to read this because it's a little different than what you can pick up simply by reading a diagram, which is, I think, why I think it's really important that we learn how to read the words as well as the charts. It will open up so many more worlds to us in crochet and knitting. Okay, so for row three of the flowers, chain one, turn, we'll have the front side facing us, single crochet and first single crochet, Here's our asterisk. This is the thing that we're going to be repeating in between these two uh, star symbols. Work single crochet by first inserting hook through first chain 10 space of flower base. I'll show you what that means. And next single crochet. Single crochet in next two single crochets. Single crochet in next chain one space. And then single crochet in next two single crochets. And then work single crochet by first inserting hook through the last chain 10 space of flower base and next single crochet. Then single crochet in the next three single crochets. And then we're going to repeat from the asterisk, go back to this, and we repeat that all the way across to the last three single crochet, in which we'll single crochet in the last three single crochet. Okay. I hope your head's not spinning too much. Let's take a look at the chart. Hopefully this will clear things up a little bit. So we're going to chain one single crochet in the first single crochet. We're going to insert our hook in the first of the chains. I wouldn't worry about getting it to any individual chain, but just put it through the, well, I'll show you that in a second, through the whole thing. And then we form a single crochet and that will anchor this first chain. Two single crochets. We're going to single crochet in that chain one space here. Two single crochets. And then single crochet first through the, the third or the last of the chain tens and form a single crochet here, then three single crochets, and then we do the whole thing again. Okay, so I'm gonna work that with you across row three. Uh, I think once you see me do it a couple times, it'll be a lot clearer. So the first thing we do is chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in that first single crochet. Now we're gonna find the first of the chains, which is the one furthest to the right or to the left, depending if you're watching the left-handed or right-handed. We're gonna stick our hook just right in that whole thing there. And now we're gonna to go to the next stitch, which is just the second stitch on the row. And just go ahead and pull a loop through and do our single crochet. And as you can see, this uh, loop is you know kind of trapped inside there and that's what we want. Now we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. Make sure you do two stitches there. And then we're going to single crochet in that chain one space. And then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're going to find the, the um, chain furthest to the left, which is this one, or to the right if you're watching the left-handed. And we stick our hook through there and into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and just complete the single crochet in that uh, little petal there or chain 10 is gonna be kind of trapped there and that's what we want. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and we're gonna do it all over again. I'm gonna find the loop that's closest to me here, the first one there. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next, bringing it over the loop like that single crochet in the next two stitches, single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the next two stitches, and now we find the third chain, which is right here. Stick our hook in there and into the next stitch and complete that single crochet. And after that we do three more stitches in between. So let's go ahead and take a look about that. And this is what you're going to work. Okay. This is what you're going to work all the way across the row. We're just again anchoring these two chain tens. And you can you, know, you can play with these you know later on, see how they how you like it. All right? So go ahead and work that all the way across row number three. After working this all the way across row three, you finish the row with single crochet in the last six stitches. 
Okay, just wanted to give you an idea of what this should be looking like right about now. Okay. And this will this will start to look better and straighten out a little bit more once we get some of these other this this last loop anchored as we go. All right, let's take a look at row number four of the flower. Okay, row number four is going to be work with the backside facing. And this is an easy one, everybody. This is just going to be a chain one and single crochet all the way across. Make sure you do not anchor this this uh, last chain. This is going to be done on the fifth row. So this fourth row, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So to begin, we're chain one and we're just going to single crochet all the way across the row. Make sure you just leave these be on that other side. We're not going to deal with them this particular row. Now we need to take a close look at row number five because there are some interesting things going on in this row. We're going to chain one and we are going to have the front side facing. We are going to single crochet in the first four single crochets. Then the asterisk, this is the stuff that we're going to repeat or in between there. We're going to work six double crochets by first inserting the hook this is when we work each double crochet. Insert the hook through the center chain space of the flower base and next single crochet. And then we're going to, after we do that, we're going to single crochet in each of the next nine single crochets. And then we're going to repeat from the asterisk all the way across again. So we're putting the, the flowers on to these stems here, this row. I think it'll be pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you the diagram here. So we're working here, front side facing, chain one, four single crochets. We're going to have six double crochets worked into the next single crochet, but first working in through that uh, chain 10 that remains. And then we work nine single crochets across and then repeat that all the way across the row. So as we start row five of the flowers, we chain one and we single crochet in the first four stitches. Now this is the next stitch is where we begin our double crochets, but we're going to work through this stitch. We wrap our hook, stick it through this chain and into the next single crochet. And that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is the top of our flower. And we get to the next single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now when you get to do this one, it should be the stitch that is right behind there, okay? If, if this is off in any way, you may need to just double check on your count. So I'm going to do another, another flower for you. Wrap the hook, go in through this chain, and you can just kind of hold that chain there as you do six stitches in that space, six double crochets, okay, six, just like so. And then again, starting on the very next single crochet, crochet in the next nine stitches. So go ahead and work this all the way across the row. And it, you know, if you need to, you can always straighten out some of these, these leaves later if you don't like the way they are, are sitting there. But that will be the flowers. Okay, for row six, we're working with the back side facing. We're going to chain one. And we're going to work nine single crochets, chain one. This is going to be done behind the flower. And then we single crochet in the next nine stitches, chain one. And we're going to do this all the way across. And we're going to work single crochets in the last four stitches. Make sure that when you work the chain one, that the flower stays on the front side. Kind of push it away from you. Make sure that it's not in front of you when you crochet this chain one. Let's go ahead and work row six of the flowers. So to begin row six, we're going to chain one, the back side is facing, and we're going to single crochet in the first nine stitches. After single crocheting in the first nine stitches, notice where that last stitch is. It's right next to the, the um, six double crochets. We're going to chain one, and we're going to come all the way over here to the first 
single crochet and we're going to single crochet right there okay so I want to show you that's going to help this flower to pop a little bit on the other side so that's one and we do one in nine of the next stitches Let's double check on our count here. One, let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had trouble with my strands there. And then one more right there, if you can see it at the base. That's nine. Chain one and skip the six double crochets. Find that first single crochet and single crochet just like that in the next nine. So we're going to work that all the way across. Let me show you what it looks like from the other side now. So what happens then is it makes those flowers look like flowers. It makes them really pop. It's a very, very, very nice design. Okay, so go ahead and finish row six all the way across. Now we're going to take a look at row number seven. Now row number seven is a row that it starts the, the foundation of another flower here. It's very much like what we did in row one, with the exception that instead of crocheting four single crochets, we're going to start the row with a chain one and then nine single crochets. And then in the next stitch or the tenth stitch, we're going to have um, ten chains, a single crochet, ten chains, single crochet, and then ten chains. And then we're going to single crochet in the next nine nine stitches and then do it again. 10 single, I'm sorry, 10 chains, a single crochet, 10 chains, single crochet, 10 chains, and single crochet. Remembering now that you're going to have three single crochets in that one space right here. Make sure that when you, after you do the chain, that you don't go back into this stitch, but you start in the next stitch over. Okay, so let's go ahead and work row seven. Okay, we start row seven with the chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three, Make sure you hold the flower down so that we don't work in that. Four single crochets, and then you're going to work a, a single crochet in the chain one space. That's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After we do that, we're going to chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then in the next single crochet, we will single crochet, make sure we don't go back into this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then single crochet in there again. Okay, and then do it one more time. And then single crochet so that you have three of these. And then we're going to single crochet in the next nine. This is the repeat all the way across the row. I'll do it for you one more time. One, two, three, four. And that fifth single crochet is going to be in that chain one space. Six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to do our ten chains. And then working in the next stitch, we'll do a single crochet. And then another 10 chains. And a single crochet. And then 10 more chains. And then a single crochet in the same spot. And then you're going to repeat this all the way across row number seven. Okay, this row ends with working single crochet in the last four stitches. Okay, I do have a suggestion for you. I think it would be good at this point to do a visual check to make sure that you have one of these in the center between these all the way across the row. Okay, if your stitch count came out even, you probably do, but you just want to might, might want to do a quick check to make sure that you actually have three of these in each place as well. Just a quick visual check before we go on to row number eight. 
Okay, for row number eight, it's very similar to row number two, where you work your single crochets across. This is a chain one, which is actually behind all of the, the cluster, the chains, and the three single crochets. And so what we're going to be working that up here. So chain one, single crochet in the first four stitches, chain one. Now you're going to make sure that these um, chains are pushed towards the front, and then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches, chain one, and then we will actually end the row with nine single crochets. Let's go ahead and crochet row number eight of the flowers. So to begin row eight, we're going to chain one, we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip the cluster, the, the three chains and everything here, push that towards the front, and I'm going to start in the single crochet. Now remember, it's the one that's connected right here. That's going to be my first single crochet of the next nine stitches. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more, nine. I'm going to chain one. We're going to skip everything in this cluster. And then we're going to go over to remember find the one that's connected to that first chain. Push all that stuff forward. And then nine single crochets to the next cluster. So we're going to go ahead and work that, work that all the way across row number eight. Now we're ready to begin row nine, which is very much like row three down below. We're going to have a chain one. We're going to single crochet in the first six stitches. And then when we crochet this single crochet, we're going to make sure that our hook goes into that chain first, and then single crochet here, single crochet in the next three, four, five stitches. And then we're going to join um, this, this chain on the left by putting our hook into that chain first, and then single crochet in that space right there, single crochet in the next three stitches, and then we're going to join another by putting our hook through the chain and then into that space there. And then one, two, three, four, five single crochets. You're going to be working. This is going to be um, something that we will deal with two rows later. And then we're going to connect after those five single crochets. We're going to put our hook into this chain first and then work that single crochet. And then it should be one single crochet at the end. But we'll go ahead and work row nine across and I'll sh start that right now. So row nine starts with a chain one and then we're going to single crochet in the first six stitches. After those first six single crochets we're going to now start connecting the flower petals. We're going to work by putting our hook, let me go ahead and do that again, into the chain and then into the single crochet space and then complete that single crochet. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches here, and then the chain one space, and then two more single crochets. And now we're going to take the third, the third um, petal or leaf there, and we're going to put our hook into that chain 10, and then complete a single crochet. Working in the next stitches, we're going to chain through, I'm sorry, single crochet in the next three stitches. And then after we do that, we're going to join another one of these chains. Make sure you turn it to where you want it to, you know, be positioned correctly. Put your hook in there and into the next space. Work a single crochet single crochet in the next two stitches and then that chain one space and the next two stitches and then we're going to join this one here this is the one that's on the other side and then through the space and form that single crochet and again follow that with three single crochets Okay, so very similar 
actually it's the same as as the stitch down here it's just that you started off with more stitches at the beginning of the row so go ahead and work that all the way across row 9 ends with a single crochet in that last stitch I just wanted to be sure to show you that end okay so let's go on to row number 10 row number 10 is simply single crochet in each stitch across so I'm just going to go ahead and start that so go ahead and work a single crochet in each chain all the I'm sorry in each stitch rather which happens to be single crochets all the way across the row row number 11 is very much like row number five we are going to crochet nine single crochets and then taking in that middle loop the 10 chain we are going to work six double crochets into that next single crochet and then we're going to do nine single crochets after that and then again going in through that loop of the last chain 10 chain we're going to work six double crochets in the next stitch you know again forming the flower should end with four single crochets at the end let's go ahead and work row 11 okay so to start row 11 we're going to chain one and we are going to single crochet into the first nine stitches after those nine single crochets we are going to begin our six double crochets but we're going to go into the loop first the 10 chain and then we're going to do our six double crochets make sure we work through the chain and the two loops of the single crochet that's four five and six okay now we're going to single crochet starting in the very next single crochet and the next nine stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and you also may want to verify that this is you know in the center when you connect this that this is the stitch behind there and then we're going to wrap the hook and go into the chain and into the next stitch one I'm making six double crochets here two three four five and six okay look back and we're going to single crochet again in the next nine stitches so let's go ahead and take a look at that so you see another row of flowers forming so go ahead and finish that this is um, row number 11 go ahead and work that all the way across row 11 ends by working single crochets in the last four stitches okay let's go ahead on to row number 12 taking a look at the chart for row number 12 this will be with the back side facing we're gonna have a chain one single crochet in the first four stitches and then we're going to chain one we're going to skip this cluster with the six uh, double crochets and we will single crochet in each of the next nine stitches again chain one skip the cluster single crochet down here and then nine single crochets go ahead and work that all the way across and I'll show I'll start that with you right now we're going to start row 12 with the chain one and single crochet in the first four stitches after that we're going to chain one we're going to skip the six double crochets and then we're going to find that first single crochet right there and we're going to single crochet there and each of the next um, eight stitches so it'll be a total of nine single crochets in between these flowers Let me just verify that I do have nine single crochets because that's pretty important. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good to go. Don't forget that chain one and then single crochet in that next single crochet. And then 
that's pretty much what we're going to do all the way across. Nine single crochets, chain one, skip the six double crochets in that little cluster area, and then continue on with the single crochets. Okay, go ahead and do that all the way across row number 12. Row 12 ends by working one single crochet in each of the last nine stitches. Let's go on to row 13. Okay, row 13 up here is for the most part the same as the row we worked on row 1. We're going to start with a chain 1, single crochet in the next four stitches, then we're going to chain 10, single crochet in the next stitch, chain 10, single crochet in that same stitch, chain 10, single crochet in that same stitch, and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. And then again we're going to do the cluster, chain 10, single crochet in the next stitch, chain 10, single crochet in that same stitch, and chain 10, single crochet in that same stitch, and then ending with nine single crochets um, in, in the last nine stitches, but of course you need to be working this whole thing repeatedly across the row. So let's go ahead and start row number 13. Now to begin row 13, we begin with a chain one, and then we single crochet in the first four stitches. After that we begin to make another flower. We're going to chain 10. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to do that again. 10 chains. And then single crochet in that same space. And then do that one more time. And then single crochet in that same space again. Okay. And, and then after that, we are going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four. That fifth single crochet should come right in that chain one space of that flower from the previous rows. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll start to form another flower at this point. So that is our repeat. Go ahead and work that. You're going to be working the, the chains and the single crochets and then the nine single crochets in between. So go ahead and work that. Okay, now after finishing row 13, we are going to do repeats. Okay, so we're going to work on rows 14 through 25, which is going to be a repeat of rows 2 through 13, which starts up here in the pattern. I'm going to show you what this is going to look like in just a second. Um, so you're going to go ahead and repeat these 13 rows all over again. If you need stitch support, just simply go back to the beginning of this video where it says row 2 flowers or flowers pattern. Okay, after that we're going to work on rows 26 through 30, which is going to be a repeat of rows 2 through 6. Okay, so at the end of this section here on the flowers, you should have five um, rows of flowers. Not, not crocheted rows, but five lines, so to speak, of flowers going across your throw. So go ahead and work on that and I'll show you what I have. Okay, after working through row number 30 of the flowers, this is what you should have. We should have one, two, three, four, five rows of flowers, okay, over those 30 rows of crocheting. Now after this row, I'm just going to give you the assignment, and uh, since you've already seen what you're going to need to do, um, we're going to do row 31 which is simply single crochet in each row across. And then let me show you the pattern. After one more row of single crochet, we have the next four rows, which says to chain one, turn, and single crochet in each stitch of cross. After working those additional five rows of single crochet, again, this is row 31 here, and then plus the four rows of single crochet, so really a total of five rows of just straight single crochet across. We're going to start the divider section again. Now remember the divider section 
was working the reverse single crochet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this row for you just as a reminder and then I'm going to give you an assignment. But let's go ahead and start this divider. We're going to chain one and remember we're working from, from um, left to right or right to left if you're watching the left-handed version. And we are going to work only in the front loop and we are going to do a reverse single crochet in each front loop across. Okay, I'll just do a couple of these for you again. This is the one that can be a little tricky, but if you don't let it intimidate you and just let the strings fall where they may, I think you can get through this. Just take it nice and slow. This is not a stitch to rush through. Okay, so I'm going to work this all the way across and remember when I get to the end of this row, I'm going to chain one and I'm not going to turn for any of these rows and then I'm going to single crochet in that remaining loop. And you're going to do this for six rows or until you have three of the reverse single crochet standing and then three rows working back the single crochet. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I will see you in the next video which uh, is coming up very shortly. So once you complete those six rows, you'll be done with this particular video's assignment, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.